This one is from Willie Do, yeah. He ordered that, he threw it in front of me. He's a crazy guy. I know it's not a laptop, it can't be a laptop. It's too small, it's too tiny. Otis. Quiet time, Otis. The question is, is this thing actually cool? It's called the Gemini 4G. This thing, it runs Android or Linux. Probably a bit of a novelty factor going on. Oh, look at that. Hello? That keyboard actually looks kind of enticing right now. Ooh, that's tiny. Need a new laptop, Jack? There you go. Type-C USB cable, okay, cool. Interesting. Gemini by Planet Computers. Here we go. Whoa, what? This has me thinking about a Sony product. I believe it was called the Vio P. And when I was a kid, I thought it was the coolest thing. The hinge is interesting, watch it. You know what? You know what? I, I kind of like it. I mean, it's tiny, don't get me wrong. I would probably go crazy type in on this thing every day. This looks like the power switch over here. USB type C connector in this location. That looks like a microphone. I'm guessing this is a speaker grill, which would be kind of a cool design. I see one of these grills on each side, another type C connector over here and a headphone jack. It's the same number of inputs as the MacBook Air in this package. That is a pocket computer right there. All right, so I have this thing booted up. They had me fooled on the power button. The on off is over here on the escape key. I thought for sure this was the power button. Apparently that's the smart button. This has a micro SD and micro SIM card slot. This is the startup screen. Of course, this is touch screen as well. So you just reach up and all right, we're in. Look at that, Jack. There it is. It's a little Android laptop. Something called app bar. I think you just, you can remove the apps that show up when you drag up from here. I'm assuming that's how that works. They have a notes app, which I guess is kind of tuned for keyboard input. Now, otherwise, it's looking pretty standard Android to me. Let me connect to the Wi-Fi real quick. Unbox therapy. I've typed on worse things before, I do have to say. Who's advertising against Unbox therapy? Apple is. How does that make you feel, Jack? Are you happy about that? Are you upset? So that's cool. Everything is uh, available via function keys. Function for volume, function for brightness, function for emojis. Speakers all the way up now. Let's see what that's about. Pro experiment in which I just couldn't get used to that tight cover. I know it's slim, it's slender, but I started to long for a Oh, hi there, Jack. Click. New location. Now, extensive history with Very well. Products, but you know, that keyboard has changed Let's see if the function pause works here. Function pause. The no, bezels it's are, it's they're slimmer, there. You know, you have the, the forehead, the chin. It's weird, it's a bit off-center as well. It's not symmetrical. Anyhow, I think the most surprising thing about this for me is how usable the keyboard is. I'm kind of amazed they were able to cram something this functional into a package like this over the Fence. Look, that's perfect. I nailed that. I hammered that out and I had no business doing so. It vibrates with, with each key press. A slight vibration and an audible tuck, 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 tuck. Boom. Like there's something uh, cool about that. There is a camera on here, front facing, actually sort of decent. Okay, not the best I've ever seen. Does it do the trick? Maybe, yes, so, sort of. What are you really gonna use this for though? Uh, this is not for Instagram photos. Oh yeah, let's see what the smart button does. Here we go. It's a Google Assistant, which shows up in portrait mode, but it made a really cool sound effect. Whoo, whoa, discovery mode, that is insane. Look at that. You hit this little button, that's the, the planet button, a whole dock comes up. Oh my. Hello! <laughs> Hello there, laddie. It's your, it's your auntie. I'm hacking the Pentagon. Well, give me your laptop. So you tell me who's, who's cooler in this situation. You could be this guy or you could be this guy. It's the same size as the trackpad on the MacBook Pro. So there's some different 
processors available for this. Uh, MediaTek, Cortex A72. There's a couple of quad core options also. Four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage inside of it. I did mention that is expandable. There's a micro SD card slot on here as well. It's around 650 bucks. Does that feel pricey? I don't know, maybe, probably. It's not gonna replace your laptop as far as I'm concerned. And it's probably not gonna replace your smartphone. So it puts it in a really weird zone. I think it's totally worth looking at. I think Will Do did well on this one. Well done, Willie Do. You continue to show people things they never knew existed, including this right here.